Hello, YouTuber, Facebooker, or whoever might be watching this. My name is Rudy Between Worlds, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Twilight Princess. In the last episode... Oh, cool, I can throw that up there. I did not know that. In the last episode, we drove a sword into the pedestal of time, causing the statue to vaporize, which was once in our way, but no longer. What the hell are you doing here, Uku? You got Prioritons here? You don't have Prioritons the way I do. Err, uh -huh. not so- Hey, who made you the boss of me? Not so fast, you know? I'm not gonna take that from a, a chicken alien. Ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over and now we're so close, I can smell it. Hi, is that right? Well, you do have a pretty gross little fucked up face there. I, I do see that gross little nose you have. Yep, look at that nose. It's pretty saucy if I do say so. You reunited with Uku. This character can let you warp around. I know your whole... I know your spiel, Uku. I know what your your purpose is in life. I don't need to uh, be reevaluated on this. I don't need refreshed. I do need, however, a small dungeon key. Can I smash this pot using this head? Ah! Oh, I threw the head clear off, like, clear over the pot, which makes me a little bit sad. I, uh... Oh boy, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe you fucking take out a lantern and swing it around once or twice. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was uh, it was totally about to make me look like a smart-ass dickhead. That was completely wrong. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to give me nothing. All right. Is that as easy as it was to find the first key? Oh, Kali dokali. Really? Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. We are on our way to the top of the Temple of Time. We are on our way to the top of the Temple of Time. He just has a mouthful of vegetables and just spits all over you every time he says, has to pronounce a T. There is something I'm a little bit, uh, a little unfamiliar with there. It's a big spidey. What'll happen if I just kind of sneak a- Oh, what happened there? Oh, he kind of stopped on the switch for a second. Really? You are surprisingly easy, sir. Thank you for being so easy as you are. Thank you for going down without a fight. I really appreciate that. What is this? Some kind of time machine that takes me to, uh, it was September 21st, 20, 4, 2015, right? This is the Back to the Future date correct? Um, okay. <clears throat> you know what I just also discovered? This is the very beginning of it because I can just pick up pots, uh, jump down from this pedestal, and place pot here. And once pot is placed there, I can get into here. And when I am into here, I get... Uh, arrows! Good! I'm so happy it's not money because I am, uh, running low on space for that kind of stuff. What is your purpose? What do you do other than walk toward me slowly? If I touch you, will you hurt me? Most likely, I do believe you, you will hurt me. Also, the controls got a little weird there, that's why I kind of, uh, ended up in the wall for a second. I also do not have the walkthrough right in front of my face at the moment, but I will figure out what I need to do here. I'm smart enough to figure it out on my own. For example, all I need to do is be a little bit observant and replace my, uh, I don't think I'm gonna need the ball and chain too much, replace my ball and chain with my hook shot. And that should be, uh, wow, is that nothing, really? Um, I am seriously convinced that this is nothing. Uh, that doesn't do anything. What about this one over here that I, I noticed as I was hanging from the other one? Does this do anything? Wow, really? How does this go, then? What are the points of these? These gotta ha- Oh. <gasps> I don't think I know what to do, but I'll try it. Let's see here. Wait, if I, if I hook up onto this one, I won't be able to get beyond that gate. I don't completely understand. Yeah, see, so when I, I lift the pot off of this switch, it opens that door, or that little gate over there. Can I not get into here? The answer is yes, I cannot. Uh, what is the point of this, literistically? Can I not swing around? I am very unclear about what to do now. This isn't cool. Um, can I swing? Can I, can I swing? I want to swing. Wow, okay then, I mean, give me a second. I, I guess I'll I'll pull up the walkthrough like a fucking loser. Like a, like a noob. Let's, give me a second here. Oh, cool, I hit a bell and I got $20 for it. Who needs a walkthrough when you can get rich as hell off of just beating bells up? Now let's do this a little bit more. Hold on. Respond to me, Wiimote. Chime! 
And I get no more money after that. I'm officially a broke son of a bitch. Wait, how do I think I just figured it out by thinking? Let me just set this down here. Take my bow and arrow out. Stand right here and play a little bit of Link's crossbow training. Boosh! And that's how that's done. I didn't even need the walkthrough for that one. It just took me a few seconds of thinking. And then you got this jerk thinking he's hot, he's hot shit or something when he is realistically nothing compared to the hero of Hyrule. I want to, uh, I want to do the, the mortal draw on one of these guys. Yep, here we go. Okay, draw! Aw, oh, no, I didn't do it right! Now you both must die. <laughs> you both sliced up the hero of time and took a fourth of a heart from him. Now you both die. Blash! And your little friend over there dies a more painful and more sudden death. But maybe it was a less a less painful since it was. Oh my god, that thing's alive and terrifying. Hello, do you have a hack? Do you have a hatchet? A hacket, I was about to say. That's the name of my librarian in school. Hacket. Uh, do I just kind of... Yeah, I just kind of have to get his secret jewel weak spot. He explodes, I'm pretty sure. What is that? Uh, oh man, there was a Zelda enemy before him that was exactly like that. After you slice him up enough, he jumps around like a crazy ass and explodes. I can't remember what it was, but it was an Ocarina of Time. I do remember that much. It, it, something about that 64-bit frame rate of something jumping around just really sticks with you. But not really exactly what it is that does that. You know what I mean? So, uh, there's, uh, there's two switches here. Alright, there's a couple of switches. Uh, that being said, there's also a couple of these little fucking, little fucking heads over here, too. So, if we just pick up... Oh my god, there's also keys. So, that's when you gotta start running away from the keys once you pick up the head. Because you gotta get to this switch with the head before you can start fighting the keys. It turns out that, uh, that does absolutely nothing when you set a head. Oh no, it does absolutely... Does it do something? It does something when you do set the head on it, which is just interesting for me. Let's play another round of Link's crossbow training here with the keys. Boosh! Oh no. Okay, good. I was like, oh no, I've awakened the keys by shooting an arrow one millimeter off from it, from where I wanted to. Let's get these two. Boosh! And this is what they call two for two, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Link's crossbow training featuring Rudy Between Worlds 2015. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. I'm just kidding, you silly goose. It's not the end of the episode just yet. We still got a little bit more to do here. And let's see if I can get money from beating up this bell right here. What is the point of these? Are they just there for decoration? <laughs> One of them just kind of hangs out in that other room. And I can hit it with the ball and chain. It makes me rich. It makes me rich. Like Wario. Ah, oh, Wario. <laughs> My name is Wario. Me gusta mula. That sounds pretty fucking awesome. In my in my professional opinion, when you say me gusta mula in the Wario voice, it sounds awesome. What the Oh, that's a thing. Cool. I wish I would have known that before I, I I knew that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and there's also Bemos here. Oh wow, that's a fancier Bemos than what was in the uh, the fire temple, but I still don't think they're uh, they're no better, you know. These, they're a little bit of fancier. Just because you're beautiful on the outside doesn't mean you're better on the inside. You can be just the same as someone and be even more beautiful. Or you can be a bitch. It's up to you, though. It's your choice to make. I'm not I'm not telling you how to live your life here. I'm just telling you, you gotta do the mortal draw to both of them. It's a very efficient move. That is the Zelda move I have been waiting for this entire quest now. The mortal draw. Just... The quickest, easiest, and most painless way to kill someone. Oh, look at you! You got little jumps! How does that make you feel? You're still gonna die the same way all your, all your lizard brethren did. It doesn't really matter to me whether you got jumps like a frog or what. I don't give a frog's fat ass. Let's see. What are you doing over here? You just kinda hanging out? Hey, buddy! You just kinda enjoying yourself? Not no more, huh? I have to have a comment for each one of these guys that I kill. Ow! For example, he just cut me with his little knife. It seems you think that that would either be a very sharp knife and it would deal a lot more damage, or it's not very sharp at all. It's just kind of like made. It's a plastic knife and uh, it deals a fourth of a heart of damage every time I get hit by it. Now, see, this is like. I don't know how I feel about this. I like that the game makes you uh, still use items that you wouldn't typically uh, use. Like, it makes you use items that haven't been used for a while, that haven't, like, needed to been used for a while. Which is cool, but come on with the top. Like, 
I I think the bow and arrow puzzle before this was a lot cooler, but that's this is just my professional opinion. I don't, I don't know anything about games or nothing. I don't play games at all. Do, what do you think I know about games? Why do you think I know something about? Oh no, they they is that right? Is that is that is that right? They uh, is there one going down the ow? Is there one going down the center? One going down the leftmost and one going down the rightmost part of this little path? No, there's just two of them, and it's very surprising that I did not just get mashed in between them. What does this do? Does this bring me down? What is this doing? Okay, so this one that way brings me down. Um, I turned it to the left, but I'm not sure. Uh, left equals downward. Oh, oh, now I'm in the spider pit. Are you guys the same little spiders, or uh, more rather the same big spiders that appeared before and are very harmless, even in big form? So in small form, you are extremely harmless. Wow. They just kind of, they just kind of scramble. Yeah, scramble, scramble. Oh no, that one hurt me. They all have to die now because one of them hurt me. <laughs> one of them made me angry. Now it's time for a mass killing of spiders in this in this dungeon. Oh my gosh, I don't like them, dude. They're just, they just move around. They're just like, and when you get closer to them, they're like, <laughs> it's so adorable. It's adorable yet scary as hell. <laughs> It is the most terrifying and cutest thing I've seen at the same time. Alright, well, it's interesting to note that that's what that does. This is the, the same elevator, right? That's what you would consider this. It's the same elevator I came in on. Really, it has that big, terrifying, menacing music playing. Like there's a, a serious enemy gonna kill me. But instead, it's just kind of a fucking spider the size of my pinky nail. Those aren't the size of my pinky nail, actually. Those are those are probably the size of, like, my kneecap, I'd say. There's some big-ass spiders. I don't want anything to do with them. I believe I can go farther upward. Next time on Rudy Between Worlds, we'll go farther upward. Thanks so much for watching, and you have a lovely day. Oh my god, it's going up. Bye!